What is up guys, your boy Munikin8, one coming at you guys with another how-to and how to potentially get more frames in Origin games. Now I'm talking about all these games and plus more in your Origin library. Now there is a trick in this Origin that uh, I found out yesterday because I've been having a problem with Battlefield 4 not not running correctly it's basically giving me a CPU stutter and random frame drop and I was looking through YouTube looking through everything possible on the uh, internet and I was like what is going on I never actually had this problem in Battlefield 3 uh, I played it very very well I played it on practically uh, ultra settings or high and then when I went to Battlefield 4 of course the requirements got a bit more demanding and my graphics card now can only play it on medium to low but that's alright okay so the first thing you want to know want to do in origin is basically any game that you want to play here right now you're gonna want to go to control uh, computer what it load up computer and once you go into the computer you're gonna want to go into your local C drive or your you know OS uh, you know drive you're gonna want to want to go into either program files or program files uh, x86 and this is where all my origin games are Battlefield 3 and Battlefield 4 so once you see this see what uh, what it is ran by on your computer what you know what version of it either 64 on this or 32 bit then you're gonna want to go back to origin you're gonna want to right click on any game that you want to play and then you're gonna want to go into game properties and then first little tip right here before you even play the origin game or even touch anything you're gonna want to disable origin in game it basically origin basically overlays or put something on your game and it shows you some random crap that is so unnecessary and uh, it kind of messes with the game but after that you're gonna want to go to when watching this game you're gonna want to go to either 32 bit or 64 bit now if you have a 64 bit of of the game you're gonna want to go on this or if you have a 32 bit you want to go on this and then once you've done that you're gonna want to hit OK and that will potentially give you less uh, problems in game or give you more frames in game that doesn't mess with your game and uh, give you problems because in Battlefield 4 I've been having a ton of problems I went from a hundred and fifteen frames per second and uh, don't be wowed by it because it's on low settings because my graphics card is pretty old by now it's about two years old but I used to go from 115 frames per second to basically uh, I believe it was like 20 and it would just do it instantly and then jump back up and then I would open up the the graph on Battlefield, and basically it would show my CPU just jump up off the screen and just come back down, which was so strange. It it would it was so strange that uh, this happened, and uh, it was very very frustrating. So, if any if any of you guys like this video, smack that like button, consider subscribing, and also share the video. It does help me out a ton. And guys, thank you guys for watching. Bye-bye.